Hey everybody, I hope you're well. Thanks for uh, clicking on the video and thanks for watching. Passion is contagious. Passion is contagious. So how passionate are we? You know, we measure that by our hobbies. Most would say each of us are passionate people if they only look at the things that we enjoy doing the most. Um, if we look at the passion that we have behind our hobbies, that says, hey, you're a passionate person. But when we measure our passion by, let's say, a job that we hate, or something that has no interest to us, the passion level is greatly diminished in those things. And our conversations reveal what our passions are. Parents who are passionate about their kids, they're always talking about those kids. Like that is always their topic of conversation. The outdoor enthusiast will always be talking about their last adventure or their next journey. The sales manager will no doubt tell you about his latest business deal or his next project. Like they're going to brag about those things and they're gonna talk about those things until you're tired of them talking about them. Like you're like, okay, I get it. You're, you love those things. But I've got a question. Uh, but what about the Jesus follower? How will we know that they are his disciple? How do we tell what they are passionate about when it comes to loving Jesus? In short, they will tell us. They will share what he has done in their life. Like that is what they want to share. And they will do so with an unparalleled, unmatched passion. After Jesus died and was buried and then rose again, two of his followers were walking along the road that leads to Emmaus. That was a seven mile journey from, a, from Jerusalem to Emmaus. They were talking as they walked. They were discussing everything that had happened to Jesus earlier in the previous couple of days. And then out of nowhere, Jesus was walking with them. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm walking down the road and then like I've not seen anybody, it's just me and my homeboy, we're walking down the road. And then all of a sudden this dude shows up in the middle of the road and he's now walking with us. Like that's going to scare me a little bit. I'm going to be like, hey, where did you come from? Right. But God hid Jesus's identity from them. Like they didn't, they couldn't tell who Jesus was. They didn't know, even though they were his followers. And then in Luke 24, 17, he asked them, what are you discussing so intently as you walk along? Their conversation was intense. Like it was intense. It was an intense conversation and they were all in the details of what was going on. And then they were shocked that Jesus didn't know what had happened in Jerusalem. They were like, you must be the only dude in Jerusalem that don't know what has happened to the man they called Jesus of Nazareth over the last few days. Like you must be the only person that doesn't know. But then only as Jesus could do, he showed them in scripture all the things that were fulfilled by the events that happened just days prior. And then Jesus, they asked Jesus to come and spend more time with them and enjoy a meal together. And in the middle of that meal, Jesus is breaking bread and giving thanks to that. And during that meal, he revealed himself to them and their eyes were open. And I want you to listen to their response. After their eyes were opened, Jesus disappears. Like even more weird than him appearing on the road is the fact that he disappeared from the dinner table. Like, come on. So here he is, but listen to what they say in Luke 24, verse 32. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scripture to us. Didn't our hearts burn? Did not our hearts burn within us? So here's a question. Does our heart burn within us at the mention of the name of Jesus? Do we explode with passion when he's near? 
or when we tell others of all he's done for us. You see, this passion is contagious and people can't help but be drawn to us because of Jesus when our passion spills over into everyone and everything around us. So let your contagious passion for Jesus flow. And above all things, let the least be first and let us be second.